had, you know, thousands of people track their time for me and I have them keep track of their time on a spreadsheet for the week. And this woman showed me her time log and it had a very interesting event on it that, you know, she was a very busy person, um, you know, two kids, job in finance. She had gone out for a Wednesday night for something and comes home to find that her water heater has broken. And so there's now water all over her basement. Um, you know, and I've explained this to people if people aren't homeowners, it's, it's just a mess. Like, right, you've got 75 gallons of water all over your basement floor. And it happens. Like, it happens, you know, once every 12 years and you need to, like, change out your water heater before that happens. Anyway, she did not. So there's water all over her floor. Um, And so her time log shows her having to deal with this. Um, You know, the immediate aftermath that night, the next day, the plumbers, the day after that, the professional cleaning crew, because again, there's water all over her basement, ruining all her carpet, her furniture, et cetera. Um, So her time log shows her dealing with this and it winds up taking seven hours of her week, which it is kind of an interesting number because I feel like every article on time I read is something like, we're going to help our readers, our viewers, our listeners find an extra hour in the day, right? Which if you think about it is seven hours in the week and like, hey, she found seven hours in her week to deal with this water heater. But, you know, we talked about it and said, well, if we'd had this conversation at the start of the week and said like, hey, let's find seven hours, right? Let's find seven hours to train for a triathlon or in a read through a quarter of war and peace or whatever it is that she wanted to do. Like she would not have been able to find the time, like, you know, busy woman. She's not going to find seven hours, like magically sitting there, like fruit on a tree. Um, so, you know, it was that when she had to find the time, she found the time. And so what I tell people is that we want to treat our priorities as the equivalent of that broken water heater, right? We choose to get to them first because there are, you know, 75 gallons of water all over our basement floor. Like we have to get to them. We're treating them with that sense of urgency. And when we do, we will find those seven hours, right? Everything else will just go somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe we'll push it forward. Maybe we'll spend less time on it. Maybe we'll find someone else to do it. Maybe we'll decide it never really had to happen in the first place. Hard to know. Um, but uh, that's what we want to do. That That is really the secret to time management. And, uh, you know, from that, the, the one takeaway that I had from that as well is when you say I don't have time, it really, you're really saying it's not a priority. Yep. That's pretty much it. (laughs) 